up YouTube? It's RS Mario, aka the real Super Mario, aka no no no. What is up YouTube? My name is Mario, aka the loot box hero. Check out the second channel because the second channel is popping. AKA the real Super Mario here bringing you another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. Oh, that's Scarlet and Violet. Mm, mm, mm. Legends ZA video with other assorted video game news. <laughs> oh man. So uh, a lot has happened in the last couple of days when it comes to uh, quote unquote leaks. You know what I'm saying? We have uh, Pocket, o Pocket Oku, you know, still, still, still yapping, still talking leaks. Um, you know, now, of course, you know, we know that, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a chance this could be fake, but last time we had something like this happen, it was Kaka. And last time I said it was fake straight up. I saw those blurry screenshots with the watermarks and the stuff scribble. And I was like, that's fake. That's like super duper fake. And turns out it was 135% real and Kaka was dropping juice through the whole league season. So this could be something similar to that, you know? But again, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, we got some Riddler Q stuff coming. You know, Riddler Q is talking a little bit. Uh, we also got some Overwatch stuff to talk about. Man, things are looking interesting, man. Because I'll admit, man, playing Tank this season, whoo, man, I'm, I might just go back to being a support player. <laughs> I might just think about <laughs> taking my talents back to the support queue. Because uh, playing Tank this season is kind of rough. So... Of course, if you want to continue getting videos like this from me, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all that good stuff that YouTube requires you to do to continue getting videos from me. Follow me at twitter.com slash rsmario128. Like my video, tweet, share my video, tweet. I'll shout you out of this portion of the video. All right, so let's hop on into this. So we have, uh, starting off, we have Riddler Q. So the OG Pokey Leaker, Riddler Q, he says, Well, getting excited for the 30th. Never thought they'd begin preparing for it this early. So, um... Now, Riddler Q could be talking about a couple of different things. Um, maybe we could be getting a Pokemon event on the 30th. Uh, it's like, what, the 27th today when I record this? So maybe they can announce something tomorrow, and then, you know, they could drop it on the 30th. Or he could be talking about the 30th anniversary of Pokemon, which this would be really early because the 30th anniversary of Pokemon is in 2026. So, um... A lot of people believe that the 30th is when they're going to announce, like, Generation 10, you know what I'm saying, whatever those games happen to be, um, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, not to mention, uh, that would actually be the perfect time to do it, because we would be, what, a year-ish into the, the Switch 2's life cycle, so, you know, at that time, like, the, the, the install base would have kind of grown enough that where a Pokemon game could work on the system. Um, but yeah, so maybe, maybe they're doing something for the 30th anniversary. Uh, so then he says also, well, Ikaku is not VGC compatible as you may expect it. Reckon other juice squeeze soon. So we might get some more information soon. Uh, so what he means by Ikaku is he's talking about, um, uh, uh Blueberry Academy. So basically the last DLC for Scarlet and Violet. And it's been, they announced the VGC um regulations for the season for 2025 and the Ika ikaku stuff is not legal and vgc which means that more than likely another vgc season is going to come up after that so you know i, I can kind of see that like we, we you know we probably won't get the first like next generation vgc season until like 2026 at some point you know so um yeah that's that's actually kind of interesting now, of course, maybe, just maybe, we get that third DLC. That third Scarlet Violet DLC, I'm just saying. I mean, you know, it's been rumors, but, you know, it is what it is. So, um, we move on to uh, Pakitaku. So, Pakitaku. Um, so, this is some stuff that I missed from the last series of posts he made, where he talked about the uh, first trailer and some of the characters in Legends ZA. So, he says, uh, facts about the first trailer. Um... We will only be able to play in Lumino City, but the city looks huge compared to X and Y. Uh, many more streets, entrances, places, bridges, and what looks like tunnels. And of course, you know, we saw the tunnel and one of the screenshots that he had leaked. So, you know, I mean, you know, there's a reference there. Um, 
we see the female protagonist choose her starter in the laboratory. So basically he's just describing the screenshots that he had already posted. They both look like descendants of Senna and Dexio. Uh, so the, the, the two people from uh, Pokemon Adventures. Uh, then they have, uh, it says Professor Bouvier is very similar to Lysander and she has short hair and freckles. So basically that's an ancestor of Lysander. I wonder how they're gonna do the thing again where the professor is evil. <laughs> professor is like secretly evil or if it or if it's or is it just like a reference like oh this person is an ancestor of lysander like you know their grand their great 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 grandchild is gonna grow up to be a homicidal psychopath you know it's all good um the game does not appear to be running on switch a big graphical change for previous installments which i kind of assume that because the game did look pretty good for a pokemon game specifically a switch game uh the Pokemon seen in the trailer are Snivy, Litten, Piplup, Fido, uh, an alternate form. So I guess like a, a regional form of Fido, um, which I can kind of see because baking is, is big in France. So, you know, you would have like maybe a baguette version of it or like a Chibata, a Chibata Fido, you know, uh, F Fletchling, Toxtricity, Go-Go, Gulder, Mar uh, Marcro, Toxicroak, Lotad, uh, Flygon, uh, ooh, alternate version of Flygon, so regional Flygon, uh, Flygon, so no, no, no Mega Flygon, but regional Flygon, which is acceptable, all right, the uncrowned, the uncrowned king of Megas deserves his Mega, but a regional is acceptable, you know, um, Boizel, Duraludon, Carbink, an alternate form, which I can see that, especially if Diancie is going to play somewhat of a role in the game. Um, I can see them doing something with Carbink because Carbink and Diancie are connected. Uh, and Celadurge, uh, a different armor. So a different armor of Celadurge. What other armor could they do for him? Like um, uh, Cereladurge. Like what other armor could he have? Hmm. I don't know. That's interesting. All right, so we move on to some Overwatch news. Uh, uh, you know, uh, from Overwatch Cavalry, we have some uh, uh, information on possible changes coming to the game, coming to the characters. The first one is about the new hero. So, um, Overwatch Cavalry says future support heroes might have less mobility in Overwatch 2, uh, despite Space Ranger having high mobility, being a high mobility hero. Alec Dawson hinted that other future support heroes don't need to fight back <laughs> whoa oh no uh in close range given how difficult it can be to kill opponents to kill supports um i don't know if that's a good idea chief uh because see i understand what he's trying to do because one of the big complaints that a lot of people have is that it's hard to kill supports because supports either have a mobility ability that can get them out of, of, of uh, you know, danger, or they have some button they can push to stop them from dying. Like you have a immortality feel, uh, Suzu, you know, something that can stop them from dying or stop you from killing them some kind of way. Um, and so yeah, that, that is a thing. Um, and so they want to kind of get rid of that a little bit to make supports easier to kill because people complain about not being able to kill supports. Now, here's the thing, though. Here's the problem. We have this thing in Overwatch called Dive, right? Where, essentially, you, being the tank or maybe, you know, very mobile DPS, dive and target one target. You all, y'all jump one person with your mobility abilities and kill them and then spiral the fight. You know, it just snowballs because you just assassinated whatever the squishy is, be it a Zenyatta, a sniper, a freaking Baptiste, whatever. And so if you if there's no way for the support to get away, it's just gonna be open season for them getting dove. Like, you know, tracers, freaking sombras, you know, uh daggone ball, you know, because y'all just gave ball like 50 lamb different buffs. So that's kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? But okay though, you know. Now uh allegedly the new support is supposed to be able to fly and maybe have a speed boost which 
I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, it's already hard enough to kill a Lucio, man. You got you got two, two. Can you imagine both of these guys? Speed boot. Oh, gosh. No. Can you imagine the freaking support, the new support hero and Lucio speed boosting each other and them holding a point? So they just doing like this on the payload. This. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, no. Um, so the next one is, um, Malga. So they basically talked about some Malga changes. Uh, if you don't know, Malga is, uh, kind of big right now. Malga is doing really good right now. He, 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 his kit is perfectly designed to take advantage of this game. All right. Because he has the life steal. He has the cardiac overdrive. He's got the fire, which burns you. He does good damage. He has good range. He's just perfect for the game. Which is bad because even though it's fun to play Malga and burn things down and destroy things, it is hard or if not just unfun to play against Malga. So it looks like, uh, according to Alec Dawson, um, he shared that they're publicly looking at Cardiac Overdrive and assessing how efficiently Malga can set a squishy set set squishy heroes on fire. Too many S's in that one sentence. <laughs> uh, aiming to make diving those characters more rewarding. So, I don't know what that last part means. But, um, most definitely the cardiac overdrive. That's probably one of the biggest problems with Malga. Because that's the thing that keeps him from dying. Alright, so, um, the, the main thing is just make it, give us some counterplay to the cardiac overdrive. Make it counselable. All right, because it's not, it's something that you can't counsel. Like once he pops that button, he just has it. All right, the only way to counter it would be if you naded him. Like if you had an honor and you naded him so he can't heal himself, you know, that's the only way to really counter it. Like you can't EMP it, you can't hack it, you can't stun it out of him. The only way to counter it is to nade him or kill him, which that sucks because I mean, it's hard to kill him. And you may not have an honor or somebody that can give him a damage, uh, a, a, a healing nerf, you know, so, so there's no real way to kill him, you know what I'm saying, when he pops this. So the main thing Malga needs is just some counterplay. Give us some options to be able to counterplay this man. Uh, so um, speaking of options, <laughs> and I just talked about these two heroes being able to counterplay Malga. And they said that, oh, we're going to nerf Ana and, 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 and Somber. Ah, oh, it is what it is, man. So it said, we can see big uh, changes to crowd control to Overwatch 2. Uh, the team is effectively discussing CC effectiveness against tanks, hinting at potential nerfs. Uh, this includes possibly uh, making Somber's hack take longer or reducing effectiveness of Ana's sleep dart against tanks. Look, this is all you need to do. Have it so that CC affects tanks at 50%. So, like, say if you get slept by the honor, instead of being asleep for, what, five seconds? It's like two and a half. All right, because this way, because basically what, what it is, is most support players are programmed to throw their things at the tank, right? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you might not be able to hit the DPS or the DPS might be in the back line or whatever. The, the tank is always up front because the tank is the tip of the spear for the entire team. So if, if, if you break the tip off of the spear, the spear is useless. You got to stick now. Okay. So they throw their things at the tank, you know, nade, sleep dart, freaking whatever. You know what I'm saying? They throw it at the tank because the tank's right there and it's the biggest target. So if you make it so that their, their CC is half effective on tanks, then they will have to program themselves to not always throw it at tanks because it's more effective to throw it at somebody else. Even though it's kind of, I just said that Ana could be the one to counter Malga. <laughs> they just said, no, we're gonna nerf Ana. We're gonna have to play Malga forever. <laughs> no. All right, and the last one, uh, some good news at the end of this Overwatch update. Uh, it looks like they're going to buff Reinhardt and Winston. Now, I am mixed about this, okay? Because um, 
I mean, Reinhardt does pretty good in the metal ranks. Like, it's still kind of rough now, especially now that, you know, freaking, you know what I'm saying, Symmetra's everywhere, y'all buff Reaper, y'all buff Diva damage, you know, so it's, just, it's a little weird, but he still does kind of good. All right, I'm still doing pretty good in the metal ranks with Reinhardt. So, you know, uh, but the big one is Winston. Now, Winston, Winston can be really good. All right, well, Winston is pretty good anyway. The only the only reason why Winston isn't played more is because Malga is meta and Malga just BTFOs Winston. Like, he just does. So, it says, uh, to enhance tank playmaking potential, uh, the Overwatch team plans to return Reinhardt's 300 damage charge. Yes. And make m improvements to Winston's ultimate and secondary fire. So, um, I don't know. What could they do to the secondary fire? Could they make it like, uh, kind of make it like, um, kind of make it cleave? Like, um, like a, um, a sojourn, uh, rail. So this way, cause I mean, you kind of snipe with it anyway. So just make it cleave, make it go through like, you know, multiple people. That'd be kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? And that way you build up alt faster. You know, make make it kind of make it kind of like Winston's version of a fire strike. All right, so we're back to Pokemon. So we've got more um, Pokitaku. So he answered a bunch of questions that people had for him. Uh, so we have uh, the first one is Markiplier Sex. Why? What's up with that name? What's up with that, homie? That's weird, bro. Uh, it says about how long is the trailer? And about how long before X and Y do, does it appear to take place? So he says that the trailer is going to be 2 minutes, 21 seconds. Uh, and I have no idea. I would guess about 200 years. Uh, when the distributor sends me a fragment of the company demo where there is initial gameplay, I will post it here. So, okay. So basically he's saying once he gets a demo, he'll post the information here. I don't think you will be telling people what you do if you are leaking stuff. All right. We just went over this with the Pyoro stuff where Pyoro basically said, oh, yeah, my leaker, my, my source works at Nintendo Japan. Like, you don't tell people what you do. Now now they know, okay, well, this person's outside the company. Now we got to check our contractors to see who is Pakitaku, you know. Uh, so the next thing we have Phoenix. Uh, says is a a legendary so a is supposed to be like the new Pokemon You know uh, the new like maybe legend or, or pseudo legend or mythical and legends uh, Z a you know uh, So Z is Zygarde and a is something new and so Pakitaku says no there are no legendaries or megas only new forms at the end of the trailer, you can see a silhouette, we suppose, of a legendary. Uh, it is not Zygrade. It's Cry is different. So, um, this is a weird answer. So, he's talking about the trailer, not the game. I saw some people saying, well, wait, he said there's no new Megas in the game. I'm like, no, it's in the trailer. So, they're not going to show new Megas in the first trailer. Uh, and he said there's no legendaries or Megas in the trailer. Only new forms at the end of the trailer, you can see a silhouette. So, more than likely, that silhouette is probably going to be A if this happens to be real. Um, so, I think that that answers that uh, the question that A uh, is going to be a legendary, he supposes. <laughs> so, so then Phoenix says, So, it could be A, but will there be a new, will there be new legendaries or megas or starters? have different forms like RCs. So then he doesn't really answer this one. All right, or well, maybe he hasn't answered it, you know, at this point, you know, maybe he answered it after I took the screenshot, but uh, more than likely, A could probably be Arceus. I still think Arceus is gonna have to get involved to stop whatever happens here. All right, I still think, my theory is that Zygarde is going to, um, is going to go berserk, and then Arceus is gonna have to step in to stop it. So then, um, that person <laughs> says, do the graphics look good? It's difficult to tell from these pictures. You know, uh, I'm very surprised by the visual quality compared to SV. Uh, it increases a lot. It's not hard. Okay. 
I think the trailer is not recorded on Switch. I think it's recorded on Switch 2. Which again, I, I'm 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 telling you now, my prediction is this is probably gonna be like a Switch 2. It's probably gonna be cross generations, like Twilight Princess. Or like um uh Breath of the Wild was, you know. They're probably gonna release a Switch version and a Switch 2 version, more than likely. Um, cause that would be kind of crazy if Nintendo, if, if, uh, Pokemon company just locked us behind Switch 2. That would be pretty wild, bro. People would be peed off. <laughs> Boy, that's all we need, man. Some more toxicity in the Pokemon community. Uh, so then we have, uh, two more screenshots. One I forgot from the other, from the other time and a brand new screenshot. So the other, the new screenshot we have, uh, the first one is this one right here where you see what looks like a, um... Uh, the Piplup evolution going up against uh, that the uh, the middle evolution of the the dog from Generation Six. So this looks pretty good. I'll, I'll be honest, this looks good. Um, I'm not quite sure like what some of the stuff is in the background. Like that that dude back there looks kind of weird. Like it looks like he's sticking his leg out. Like <laughs> what's going on back there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, we see another um, pokey um, pokey lid. You know what I'm saying? So we see another one of those. We talked about that in the last video. Uh, so far, it looks pretty good. You know, now of course, it still could be fake, but this this is going a little far for a fake. Like, you you make a whole 3D, multiple 3D uh, uh, pictures for a fake. That's kind of crazy. Not to mention, the, uh, the battle system looks like something that you would see in a Legends game. So, um... So then the la the brand new screenshot is this one where it's like four shots in one. Uh, we see that there's a fro fro in the corner, fru fru or whatever you call the the, the poodle Pokemon from from Generation Six. Um, then there is the the shot of a guy who looks like he's wearing Western gear because it looks like he looks kind of like a like a cowboy or some type of he looks Western in, in general, right? So. Um, maybe that's the professor because he is there with a litten. So maybe that's the professor, you know what I'm saying? And maybe this is when you go to get your Pokemon and then the, the rival just overzealous and just takes one, you know? Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, I think, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm still not ready to call it real yet because I mean, there are just some, some things that just look weird. Like the, 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 the human models look kind of lame <laughs> i'm not gonna, I'm gonna be honest like they look kind of lame but this could just be in development you know what i'm saying this could be just in it is in development for the most part uh of course this would be the first time they're working on a new machine so it could just look like that but it is what it is um like comment subscribe and as always people keep it real and tell me what you think in the comments